Okay, now I want to talk about this exponential law of radioactive decay. Uh, as you can see for this uh, graph, okay, uh, for this uh, radioactive decay, uh, you can see the graph is exponential graph. Uh, it decreases, uh, decreases exponentially. Uh, yeah? Okay, uh, hold on a second. Okay, for example, like last time you learned about this charging discharging capacitor, isn't it? Charging and discharging capacitor, you learn uh, about exponential graph also. Yeah? This one graph decreases exponentially. Last time you learned about discharging, uh, discharging uh, capacitor. You learn about the charge decreases over time. We also use exponential graph. Uh, Q equal to Q naught exponent negative. Uh, what what is uh, T over what? Uh, negative T over RC, isn't it? Uh, exponent negative uh, T over RC. Uh, so, uh, okay, you see here. Yeah? Uh, wait a second. Ah. Uh, as you can see here, uh, last time we learned about this. Uh, do I have other color and see? Let me use another color. Um, maybe a blue, okay, a red one. Uh, you see, last time we learned um, discharging capacitor. As time goes by, as time goes by, uh, yeah, as time increases, the charge will decrease, isn't it? Uh, discharging capacitor. Yeah, this is the decreases exponential graph. Yeah. Now we also can. Um, uh, use uh, for radioactivity decay because radioactive decay uh, essentially it means like uh, look at here uh, the a lot initially there are a lot of uh, unstable nuclei but as time goes by the unstable nuclei become less and less less and less but the stable nuclei become more and more okay so it's also like the uh, unstable nuclei is just like the charge charge uh, remains in the capacitor as time goes by, the charge discharging process, the charge decreases. So the like the unstable nuclei also decreases over time. You see, the unstable nucleus also decreases over time, exponentially. It decreases exponentially. So we have equations like this also for radioactivity. We have equation like this that involve ex uh, exponent. Uh, we have exponent graph. Huh? So this is the equations. Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, let me look at this again. Uh, yeah, so we also have equation for uh, exponent, exponent for uh, for this uh, radiative decay. You see, uh, it's just like the discharging capacitor. You see, uh, it's just a little bit of difference. Uh, for radiative decay, the, the exponential law of radiative decay is n equal to n naught exponent negative lambda t. Uh, last time discharging capacitor is q q naught exponent negative t over r c. Uh, this one is negative lambda t. It's almost the same, yeah. It's almost the same. Uh, okay. So uh, let us look at the figure here. So for for this um, for this what do you call this uh, radio decay. We have this formula uh, and uh, sorry, I want the black color. Okay, um, ah, we have n, yeah, never mind, n equal to n naught uh, exponent, uh, exponent uh, negative lambda t. Uh, yeah, so also we can say uh, as time goes by, yeah, the the unstable nucleus also decreases over time. Yeah, also decreases over time. Let us play it again. Yeah, let us play it again. Yeah, do you see that? Uh, the as time goes by, the unstable nucleus become less and less, but the stable nucleus become more and more. Ah, uh, okay. So now, uh, let us uh, clear all this screen. Now, okay. Uh, let us remove this. Yeah. Okay. Let us go back to here. Okay. So, um, okay. N, N is actually the remaining. Uh, we can say uh, remaining. Remaining unstable one. Yeah. This remaining radioactive uh, nuclei at time t. Uh, that means the remaining is just like the remaining charge at certain time, isn't it? It's, it's the same concept as the discharging capacitor. Okay, 
Uh, this one n is the remaining unstable nuclei at that time at this time yeah that means the remaining n at this time uh, at this time okay whereas the n naught is the initial unstable huh? this is the initial uh, this radiative means unstable uh, this uh, radiative means unstable okay so this is the initial unstable nuclei at zero second uh, so for this one this is uh, the initial nuclei at zero second initial nuclei at zero second so besides of uh, nuclei we also have activity we also have mass uh, we also have mass okay so the n naught a naught and m naught they are all initial initial value initial um num initial number of unstable nuclei at zero second this is the initial activity at zero second this is the initial uh, mass initial mass of unstable nuclei yeah? initial mass of unstable nuclei at zero second and this n is the final uh, unstable nuclei yeah? final remaining uh, i can say this is the final uh, remaining unstable nuclei at this at this time okay and this is the final activity at this time uh, this is the final activity at this time this is the final remaining uh, mass of unstable nuclei at this time okay understand uh, okay and lambda is dependent on the material again yeah what i can say is lambda how to find lambda lambda got a formula ln 2 over half life uh ln 2 over half life what is half life yeah this is called a half life it is called a half life and this is called the uh, decay constant uh, decay constant these two these two value they depend on uh, they depend on material uh, they depend on material uh, they depend on material as i said some material decay uh, has very high decay constant it decay very fast uh, so when you have a very high decay constant means you have very short half-life yeah uh, that means this one will decay decay very fast ah decay very fast short half-life high lambda constant means it decay very fast uh, this one i will talk about it later not now okay maybe i just um Paste over here, yeah, because this is the next next thing I want to explain, yeah. This is the next thing I want to explain in the next video, okay, not now. Okay, so now uh, let us talk, uh, continue our talking here. <laughs> okay, so this lambda depend on material, okay, depend on the material, okay. Okay, so now uh, I want to say about this. Uh, uh, so what I can say is, uh, okay, uh, uh, let, let's uh, remove this one first okay so we can say last time we learned about decay law isn't it decay law uh, decay law uh, dn o dt equal to negative lambda n so the activity also the same so we can say um, uh, beside this formula can also be written as dn because activity is dn dt the activity is dn dt so we can write as uh, dn dt equal to dn dt uh, not uh, exponent negative lambda t uh, you can write at least so it's the same yeah it's the same as this formula so ah uh, you see initially initially when the sample is a lot this is what i mean uh let, let's just remove this initially when the sample is a lot uh, about the decay law let's talk about the decay law again uh dn o dt equal to negative lambda um negative lambda n or we can say activity equal to negative lambda n isn't it uh, when you have a lot of sample when you have a lot of sample you have high rate of decay uh, a lot of sample initially uh, you have a high activity there uh, so this is what i mean so when uh, initially you have high sample high sample the initial activity also a lot uh, understand uh, initial activity also a lot uh, but when after some time uh, most of the unstable nuclei has already decay become stable uh, the number of new uh, unstable has less so activity also become less uh, activity also become less already after some time 
Ah, so uh, they are all, all proportional. You see that? Uh, in, if you have more nuclei in the beginning, uh, you, then you have more mass. Lah. You have more mass. In, uh, and in the end, you have less uh, remaining mass of unstable nuclei. Ah, you see that? So, you can see this N0 and A0 can be related. This N and A can be also be related. I can say that um, I can say uh, A0 is equal to negative lambda N0. I can make an equations here. And also, I can make another equations. I, I just want to... Again, this one just make red, red and black color. I like black color. Okay, so I also can say, uh, and then I can relate the initial activity, uh, initial number of nuclei with the initial activity. I also can relate the final nuclei with the final activity. I can make another equations uh, to relate them. Uh, that means uh, this a is equal to negative lambda n. Ah, uh, this this is for the initial. This is for the initial. Uh, this is for the initial when time go to zero second. Uh, this is uh, for the this is for the final at time at time t uh, at time t uh, yeah at at t uh, at, at that time at that time uh, at time given. Okay, uh, so I can make two equation to relate these two equation. Yeah, uh, if I got n not, I can get a not. And then if I got N, I also can get A. Uh, but I must relate A to N only. And then A naught to N naught only. Don't go to relate A with N naught. Uh, cannot cross over. Uh. Remember, the partner for A is N. The partner for A naught is N naught. Okay? I also can relate the mass with N, mass naught with N naught by using the relate uh, molar mass. I can use molar mass to relate them because we know that, uh, how to say, uh, the mass, the total mass is actually, uh, how to say, uh, uh, this is the total mass. Uh, actually, this is the total mass. We can multiply uh, N with mass of one molecule. Uh, how to find mass of one molecule? Uh, how to find mass of one molecule? By using um how to say ah uh, um okay hold on a second ah this is the one yeah you actually can relate this uh, this is actually the total mass uh. if you look at here this is actually the total mass ah uh, this is actually the total mass yeah the total mass of a re uh, unstable nuclei you can relate the mass with the number of nuclei yeah uh, by using your chemistry chemistry knowledge, yeah, still remember what you learn in your chemistry. You learn the total mass of the uh, any uh, nuclei uh, is actually the total molecule, yeah, the the big N here, the big N here, multiplied by mass of one molecule, uh, mass of one molecule. But if you don't know how to find the mass of one molecule, you can use the number of mole, number of mole multiplied by the molar mass. Uh, molar mass you can get from the mass number. Uh, mass number means this one lah, the, the, the nucleon number can get from the nucleon number here. Understand or not? The nucleon number here actually it means the molar mass. Yeah, can means molar mass. Uh, this is actually 12 gram per mole. Uh, 12 gram per mole. Uh, but this one is gram. You must change to kilogram. Uh, you must use SI unit. Uh, don't, don't maintain at gram. You must use SI unit. Uh, change to kilogram per mole. Okay. After you get the molar mass ready, you can multiply by the number of mole. And how to get the number of mole? Uh, you have the number of molecule here, isn't it? Number of molecule here. Uh, just take the total number of molecule, divide by the Avogadro constant. Uh, number of molecule, divide by Avogadro constant, get the number of mole. I uh, get the number of mole. Uh, then you can multiply by the molar mass. And then you can relate to the mass of the molecule. Uh, this is how we, how we relate the from, uh, from N. This is how we relate from N to get the total mass. Understand or not? This is how we relate from N to get the total mass. We we find the we find the number of mole. Yeah. First of all, we find number of mole using the total molecule divided by our Gadot constant. And then this one you just multiply by the molar mass. Uh, but multiply by the molar mass, you get from the mass number here. Just now I explained about the mass number, the carbon 12, isn't it? Uh, the number of mole multiplied by the mole mass, you can get the total mass. Uh, you can get the total mass. Uh, okay, you can get the total mass over here. 
uh, and then you must relate remember and relate with total mass and and also and not with only total mass for initial also ah yeah uh, the final with the final number of molecule with the final mass yeah final molecule with final mass initial molecule with initial mass ah remember that okay i can use the your chemistry the number of mole and the molar mass to find it yeah to relate them and to relate activity and the number of molecule uh, you can use the decay law uh, decay law lah. this is called the decay law yeah decay law which is the uh, activity proportional to number of sample okay so now uh, finally i just want to explain the the unit the unit here is very important okay let us take this all away for for now okay because i want to explain something important here okay um so hold on a second sorry yeah let me let me show you something important here okay um yeah now i want to say about this unit uh, unit uh, remember the unit so uh, we know that um, act, let's say the activity the activity uh, activity unit this one is um, this one is per second this one also per second remember change all to SI unit only SI unit huh? remember all in SI unit uh, don't put in uh, the lambda also you must change to you see this um, this this A relate with this A ah so, uh, if a this a is per second, this a not also per second. Ah, uh, that the unit can be cancelled, and then this lambda unit connect with the time. Ah, uh, you see this lambda unit is per second, and then the time is second. Ah, uh, that's why they can cancel this time and lambda. They can cancel the unit, and then a with a not a with a not can cancel the unit. Ah, understand or not? Uh, the time unit is second, lambda is per second, they can cancel unit. And then A naught is per second, A also per second, they can cancel the unit. Uh, make sure, make sure your unit uh, must um, uh, remember, remember the unit A connect with A naught and then lambda connect with time. Ah, the about the unit, uh, the unit, uh, about the unit. Okay. Uh, one last thing is um one last thing is um okay this is the unit okay I talked about the unit already now uh I want to say about this yeah I want to say about this uh okay wait I just drag this all over the other side okay uh, remember all in SI unit uh, all in SI unit must use per second cannot use per minute per hour uh. make sure all in SI unit the decay law also this one also all in SI unit. Uh, this one also all in SI unit. Remember, yeah, all in per second only. Yeah, only use per second. Okay. Uh, one last thing is uh, this. Um, uh, okay. I think I leave the the last thing for the next video. Okay. Uh, so because uh, time's almost up, I'm going to fetch my kids. Thank you. See you again. Bye.